Frankie Del Boog's reporting, and I got another hot, quick tip in a minute, and I got my yellow headband on, so you know today means business. So I'm reporting back to you guys with another shoulder prehab, rehab, and everything in between treatment. And this one is, uh, we'll do a little superset here, a little more known, well-known to the general masses. So what I'm going to have for you guys today is something that you guys may have seen plenty of times in the past. First thing we're going to start off with is shoulder dislocates. Now, as you guys have probably seen many a times when people do this, is they use some sort of dowel. So what I have right here is... Ah! Broomstick. So, shoulder dislocates, all it is simply is you just get a comfortable grip. Usually it's wider than shoulder width. It's like a snatch grip, essentially. <clears throat> and you're just going... Oh, my shoulders are tight. Well, this is probably not going to work. This is too, and that's perfect for the video. You see, guys, I don't really do as much shoulder mobility stuff as I should have. I used to do it more so in the past when I was for a hot, quick minute thinking about doing uh, Olympic weightlifting. So I got my USAW, USA weightlifting certification coaches certification club coach or whatever we had to go through all the the drills and uh warm-up movements and all that and this is one that they were very fond of was just for instance snatch grip the bar would rest in the the crease of the hips and just warm it up with shoulder dislocates now as you can see i don't do this and this is a short broomstick that's the problem this is a lot shorter than a barbell would be or a longer dowel. Now the thing is, if you want a dowel, you go to a hardware store, you get a piece of PVC pipe for like two bucks, and that's what you use. And for the sake of this video, I just took this broom handle. I took it off, took off the broom part, just so that I could demonstrate. But this actually wasn't the tool that I wanted to use, so I'm glad that you guys saw how tight my shoulders are, whereas if I actually had my hands on the broomstick, like, I could, oh my God! I need a tripod, dude, for real. Like if I was to put this overhead, I can overhead squat, no problem. But to do the dislocates, now we're talking that's a problem. So you see, I have no problem overhead squatting, right? But, ah, ah, to go all the way back, it's not comfortable. In fact, it's uncomfortable. So that leads me actually to what I wanted to originally show, and that's you don't need a dowel, guys. You don't need to get PVC pipe. You can if you don't have funds but the thing is you can buy resistance band very cheap anyways just get a cheap one on ebay or on amazon you can probably find one for five bucks <clears throat> so resistance band now the thing is i can start narrow like i did on the broomstick right and like this is about how i was on the broomstick and i got to so it's like well i can't do it i can't get it back all the way comfortably because i have the band i can start narrow like so and then i can just pull it I can just pull some more of the band so that I can get wider. You see what I'm saying? And now the benefits are twofold. So now I'm doing shoulder dislocates, but I'm also retracting my scapula. You understand what I'm saying? I'm pinching my shoulder blades. And that's really what the superset is, is I have a resistance band and I can do about 20 band pull-aparts in a T fashion. And I can do about 20 in a Y fashion. You understand what I'm saying? So you can really fire up your rhomboids, your rear delts, right? Your mid, your low traps. Boom, boom, boom. Smash that out. You're nice and warm. And now just crush up some shoulder dislocates, banded shoulder dislocates. And I can go really narrow like so too. And then it's even better, right? Because now it's going to be a bigger stretch on my shoulders. Like, whoa, I can't. I can never overhead squat with such a narrow grip. Like so, whoa, right? But if I pull it, oh, now I can, right? And then I can even do band and dislocates light in a squatting position. I'm sorry, this camera angle is so poor. You understand what I'm doing there? Did you see that? Band pull-aparts, very narrow grip like so. I can, whoa, very narrow, so pull it apart more. And I can go through. My shoulder dislocates 
and a deep squat actually as well. So two folds, strengthening and lengthening the muscles of my shoulder girdle, my rear delts, my rhomboids, thoracic and scapular musculature. Okay, but whoa, dude, whoa. We tucked that thing back in, huh? So, this is why I gotta wear it. What's up, bro? Um, <clears throat> oh. So this is this is what happens. I come at you guys with golden information, then we end up just really messing around with all the little things in between, fixing hair. Um, okay, that's part one. After you do that for a set or two, then you can start to make it a tad bit more advanced as I advance with the tripod. Now I can hit right my band pull aparts. And afterwards, let's see what a good angle would be here. Um, right here should be good. Yeah, now I can do my band that dislocates on the floor. And I can add an extra element to it. Okay? Band dislocate like so. And then I can pull it in as well. So I'm doing more of that like Y banded pull apart. Dislocate, pull it in. And when you guys do that as well, you're gonna feel that substantially in your lower trapezius. So it's just another element to add. I'm not saying that standing um, shoulder dislocates are inferior to lying banded shoulder dislocates. They're just different. So start off with standing, superset them with band pull-aparts, and then just uh, third or fourth set, move to the floor. So it dislocates, pull it in, boom, pull it in, boom. It's crazy how much you're gonna feel that on your mid-back musculature. All right? I'm Ricky the Boogs, reporting out hot shoulder minute in this tidbit. You got what I'm saying.